Well, good morning. Hope you're doing well. I pray your outlook on today is positive, regardless of your circumstances. And I know it can be hard at times to always look at the positive, the bright side, to look at the sun shining when there's clouds all around. But that's what God gives us. You know, I, I love that verse where he says, I'm going to give you a peace that's unlike what the world gives you. Jesus' peace is comforting, strengthening, is encouraging. And that's what he does for us. Even in the midst of a storm, when he was with the disciples on the boat, he stood up and said, peace, be still. And that peace, just like it calmed the waves on that ocean that night, can calm the rapid heartbeat that is beginning to build on anxiety or fear of what might be happening or looks like it's going to happen. Folks, we serve a God today that is awesome. I want to look in Hebrews today, chapter 12, verse 14. It says, Pursue peace with all people and holiness, without which no one will see the Lord. Follow peace. Pursue peace with all people and holiness, without which no one will see the Lord. First thing there is we're asked to be peacemakers. It says Christians are to be known as peacemakers. We're not supposed to be the ones going around stirring up trouble, stirring up disagreements, stirring up argument, stirring up problems and situations uh, that really can't amount to much. It says rebellion and the lack of faith produces dissension and disharmony among the people of God. And the devil would like nothing better than to have that come in between two Christians tonight. Folks, that, that would just tear a church apart in a heartbeat. And, and it's happening in so many places and in so many denominations tonight. It is just unbelievable churches that are falling apart. So the author of this part of Hebrews encourages them to pursue peace. The second part of that, it says, and holiness. Now, people think holiness and being holy means you never make a mistake. You're perfect. And that's not what it means. It means serving God to the best of your ability, separating yourself from the world, rejecting what the world has to offer and focusing on what God's word tells us to do and living the way God's word tells us to live. With that, we're being, this, we're being holy, but we're never, ever going to be perfect. Don't make, I even had a guy tell me one time when I brought up being holy and he said, oh, that's just for the Pentecostal side of things. That's not for nobody else. And I said, man, what Bible are you reading? God didn't distinguish one denomination when he said, be ye holy for I am holy. When he said, without holiness, no man will see the Lord. He, he didn't distinguish. He, he, he was telling every born again child of God, you must be holy. Do your best to live the life that I'm asking you to live, that I'm commanding you to live by my word. So today, we must realize we are called to be peacemakers. And if you turn over here in verse Matthew chapter 5, the Beatitudes, if you look at verse 9, it said, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. My friend, don't let the devil cause a disagreement to come between you and somebody else. And if there is a disagreement, get back to that individual and resolve the matter. Robert Morris, I heard one time, and I believe it was who, that's who said it, that if there happened to become a disagreement between him and somebody else and, or, or an accusation, and he was the innocent party, he would sometimes go to that person and say, what can we do to resolve this part, this, this, this part problem between us? What can we do to dissolve it and get it over with? And that's the way we must be today. Don't let a disagreement come in there and distinct, separate you from somebody else, especially a brother or sister in the Lord. Let's live to be peacemakers. Let's live to be holy, that we may honor the Lord and everything that we do. God, thank you today for your word that calls us to be peacemakers and to be holy. And we know, God, it's only possible through the help and the leading of the Holy Spirit. 
God, it's only possible when we take your word and we read it and apply it to our lives tonight that we can be holy, that we can be peacemakers. God, keep us that way tonight, I pray. Keep us that way. Help us to be peacemakers. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Folks, may God richly bless you today is my prayer.